Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to start your dress. Um, first, you want to do a nice drawing that has interior lines as well as outerior outlines, like exterior lines. And I'm going to think about doing it as a series of circles that are then kind of thrown together. So I'll do like a circular thing here and a circular thing here. And I'll do another circular thing. I'll do a big circular thing here and a smaller one here. And then what I'll do is basically start to like do like an outline of wire here that will bring everything together, like one line there, and I'll bring it down and maybe over and around here and then start from the bottom and do another one coming up here somehow over and around and up just to get the basic shape started so in black that's where i'm actually going to do the wire work okay so it's helpful when you know how this stuff works but some of this will just be trial and error and some of it you will just kind of figure out as you go so if you have the wire that's on a spool like this the best way to get it going is to just kind of pull it off like that and you really the best idea the best approach here is to just have like the most longest continuous thing you can get so I'm gonna actually get like a two or four foot thing going here and I'm gonna actually make a circle right here to indicate that that is the top of it now I drew this life-size like how big I really want this to be this is pretty big this is um, just to give you perspective, here's a, a pair of regular scissors. So it's about 10 inches tall in total. Okay, so what I have here is I'm just, I just take it like this. I'm just using the armature wire, which is the thinnest, the thinner of the stuff. And you know what? No, I'm going to go even closer. I'm going to, the more you can make it one continuous thing, the better it is. So here's like the top loop here. I'm going to then bring it in and it's really, 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 really malleable. So you want to bring it, you want to basically loop it around like two times at least just to get that nice and tight. And so now I have this sort of top shape. Okay. Then I can come down and create the next circular, like the waist area. So I come around here like this and I'm going to connect it there and then I'm going to come back up and connect back to the top here. Now I'm going to do all of the detail work with that copper wire. This is just to get the basic structure started. Then, you know, wire is going to be, you know, it's going to have its own little life. Embrace that little life. And now I can, I could cut that if I wanted to, because that kind of looks like the top of what I'm trying to get to. And, or I could actually keep using it. I think I want to cut it. I don't want it to be too, too thick. But I'm going to cut it right here and use that to my advantage to just strengthen it here. I can always cut extra stuff off later if it's too much. I can always come back and cut some of that braiding away. Okay, so then I'm gonna, so that's the top there. Now I'm gonna work on this midsection here. So once again, I'm gonna pull out a pretty long, like a four foot piece or so. So big span from shoulder to, actually from open arm to um, bent arm to you know end up hand. So that's about let's see here. Yeah, I got about three feet of wire here. I'm gonna cut it. And then I'm gonna bend it in the middle because the middle is gonna be it's gonna be the strongest if I bend it in the middle here. And that's gonna be this loop right here. 
So I'm going to bring this together, make this loop happen. by winding this around like that. So now I have this sort of mid loop section and then I want to come up and I want to connect it. I want to come up and connect it up here, but then I want to bring it back down to here. So I have it, so I'm going to basically bring that in, but then I'm going to loop it around so that it's nice and strong. So if I just have it, in one time, it's not going to be enough. And then I'll bring it back down. And actually, this is when you might want to take the time to kind of squeeze so that that holds its shape. See how that just held its shape there? So then I'm going to bring this down here. And I'm going to connect it here. So it's going to be pretty awkward when you're just getting started. It's okay. So now I have basic structure there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, don't want that to be double ply there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. And I'm gonna try to do the same thing here where bring this around in this midsection right here. Okay. There. I'm going to kind of flatten that out. And then I'm going to attach to the front here. And then I'm going to attach to the back over here. And once again, I'm not looking for perfection right now. I just want to get a basic structure. Hopefully, maybe more, maybe clearer if I just do this. Now, if you get some crinkling and stuff and you don't like that, you want that to get straightened out, you can kind of squeeze that down and straighten it. and kind of force it into position. So the armature wire is actually the best stuff for the dress to start with. And you can come back in with the copper and do some detailing work. I can probably move this over too. And braid this a little better here. And if I, if this still isn't holding as tight as I want it to, I can just keep squeezing it and eventually it will, it'll hold its shape a little better. So I have this shape started. I still want to come down with it. It looks a little bit uneven here and there, but that's okay because I can kind of straighten that out. And in my drawing, I wanted it to go less wide there. So I'm going to create another I don't know if it would be better to put white underneath. It might be better to see it that way. Yeah, that's better. So I'm going to create this little ring right here. I'm only going to use about two feet, maybe two and a half feet. So pretty substantial piece, but not as big as what I was. I was literally working with something almost uh, another half size that. For the, for the midsection that I did. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop it around here. I want this loop to be smaller. I'm going to do that just like that so it's there. And I'm going to actually loop this around a few times just so I can get around to the other side because I want this to be on one side. I want this to be on the other. Hmm, it's not going to be long enough. It's okay. Maybe it will be actually. 
because I'm not going that far. Okay, so there I have it more like on one side and the other. I'm going to use this one since I have more of it just to get that distance. And then I'm going to essentially bring that in here. Now on my drawing, I had some wrinkling happening there, but I can add that later. So this is just for the basic structure. So I'm just going to bring this in and I'm just going to attach it. Where do I want this? No, that was, that's not right. I want this to be closer. Oh, I have to do another ring. Ugh, God. I have to do another ring for right here if I want that to actually hold. So I will... I don't have enough to do that perfectly. So what I'm going to do is cut another length. This one doesn't have to be nearly as long. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Turn this into a little loop. Smaller. I want it to be smaller than that because I want it to go in. Okay, so... I mean, a lot of this you just kind of make up as you go. But what I wanted to do was to attach that to, let's see here, I want to attach that to that so that it can then kind of sit inside of there. So it's pretty complex what my idea was, but it's helpful that I had a drawing because now I'm getting closer and closer. Put this right in here. Now I can attach, I want this to sort of sit here, so I'm going to then I'm not sure I love that, but we'll see. Hmm, that might work. I think once I add all the other details, it'll work. I do need to move that over a little bit so it's more in the center because I want it to look like a tiered situation. So I'm going to move this one. Okay, so you can see kind of what I have here. I'm going to move this one out because I don't like how close that is to that. I want it to be more in the center. There we go. Okay, so I have the beginning of the structure that I want. It's a little wiggly, but that's wire for you. 